Okay, today is uh, March the 6th, 2016. We're watching the Western U.S. water vapor loop. And we can see we have a uh, system moving into uh, Northern California. Let's take a quick look at the uh, surface analysis map. Um, this is a, a gale force system right here, indicated. We have high pressure now, uh, rebuilt. 1,024 millibar right down here, and then we have uh, right here at 34 north is where uh, LA is. Right here we've got some ridges of high pressure indicated, and so this may uh, prevent some of the rain, the heavy rain that they were uh, forecasting. We were supposed to get about two to four inches on this second system. They, they were touting it was going to be a much stronger system. Uh, so they've got some ridges right here. We've got high pressure all through here. And we'll have to watch uh, very carefully and see what what happens because that may affect how much rain we get down here in uh, LA and San Diego. Okay, so we can see that gale force system moving in right here. Let's take a look at the uh, the infrared. Well, first of all, uh, we have a uh, we have a problem here. This are, there's a, a transmitter focusing some heat right here, and uh, that started showing up uh, uh, late uh, last night. And uh, that is having an effect on our weather. We have very clear skies right now and, and a little bit of wind. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens when this passes over uh, central California right here in northern California. But right now we have a situation where there's a heat being applied right here. That's disrupting the uh, jet stream flow. We'll take a look at the jet stream. It actually is flowing very nicely until it gets right about here. And then everything just sort of slows down and stops. And that's because we have uh, high pressure being installed right here. We can see that uh, dry area right there. Okay, uh, let's look at the, uh, this is the rainbow infrared loop. We can see the clearing made here. You can see a little bit of outflow occurring right there. And we have that system moving in right here. And we have uh, actually the this uh, system here and its front plus the one right behind it. We've got actually two uh systems right there okay now we have yesterday's system right here and there is still a there's an area of high pressure between uh this system that just went through last night and dropped uh, 1.57 uh, inches i think it was so we've got a lot of wind between uh, these two systems here there's high pressure keeping these separated okay next let's look at the uh this is the other uh, sea level pressure analysis map. We can, we can see that high pressure right, right down here. This uh, is marked as 1,020 millibar, All right? And the border with uh, Mexico is right here. We have, we have uh, some ridges right here. All, up, all the way through California, we have some high pressure uh, indicated. And where we are right down here, it's not as pronounced, but uh, we will... Uh, keep an eye on on uh, what's happening. It's hard to say. Uh, there is rain in the forecast. It's just a matter of how much we get. All right. Well, here's the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can get a, a much bigger picture of what's going on. Jet streams moving right across the East Pacific, and we have that interruption here. Um, we've got something developing right here. And again, we have a sort of a pinwheel of low pressure systems uh, moving around on a, in a counterclockwise uh, pattern right here. Okay, there is the Northeast Pacific infrared loop. Okay, next let's take another look at that uh, surface analysis map and uh, we have, this is a rapidly intensifying hurricane force system right right here at 40 degrees north 985 millibar this will probably drop in pressure as it develops uh, we have some high pressure right here indicated uh, that will uh, separate these two systems that's the intention of the high pressure between the two all right uh, let's go back again and look at the uh, right right here here we go this is that rapidly developing system right here. Let's put the uh, grid on. And we have 
it's 40 degrees north right here. So that's the one right there. All right. Let's take a look next at the uh, 500 millibar chart. And things seem to be moving fairly well right into the uh, west coast. We have some squiggly lines here indicating some high and low pressure. Okay. And then we have the 300 millibar, which looks pretty much the same. We can see a couple of lows up here, low pressures. All right. Okay, now next, let's look at the uh, MODIS Today map. We had a very beautiful day in uh, Southern California. I made a video uh, earlier today documenting that. Uh, we're looking right now at uh, Los Angeles, which is right here, in Catalina Island. And we can see all these natural clouds, the brilliant white clouds all over the area here. And uh, as we pan down towards, uh, we can see some interesting stuff here. This doesn't look natural. Now, we had someone from Orange County uh, leave a comment uh, on the uh, today's video that I made of the outdoor the sky. <clears throat> he said he saw a chemtrail in the, in the morning. And uh, so we're just going to pan around now. Uh, aside from, from what we're seeing right here, this, everything looks natural all the way through this entire USA 5 map which covers most of um, Southern and Central California. We just pan around here a little bit. Um, I don't see any streaks. We do see uh, something here. It does not look normal. And, uh, but most everything looks just natural clouds, very white, you know, brilliant white. That's what we're seeing. Uh, now, as we get down into Mexico, right here is the border. When we get down into Mexico, things change. And we're going to look at that right now. We have, these are natural clouds. There is some, appears to be some aerosol spring going, uh, going on. These are all natural clouds offshore, but we come into uh, Baja, and we see right here, this is all a chemtrail mix. All this stuff here, this is all chemtrail mix. And uh, just pan offshore again. You can see that uh, they've been spraying all through here. Some of this is natural, but, but the, uh, the gray stuff has been sprayed over the tops of these clouds down south into Mexico. So all this stuff here, we can see the color difference. This is an off-white. It's almost a light gray color, actually. This chemtrail mix that we're looking at here right now. And uh, here we see some natural clouds. This uh, real white uh, smattering of clouds offshore. This stuff here is natural clouds. Okay. But this stuff right over here is not. Right over here. Now that's not natural. That's an off white. That's a, a, a sort of an off white gray, a beige color. Same with all this stuff over here. This is all a chemtrail mix. So they they uh, had a day off in the uh, Southern California area. These pilots that do this work, it, if we go back into California right here. We can see that we had pretty nice weather. There's no there's no chemtrails out here anywhere as far as you can as far as we can pan out out into the Pacific. There is just no chemtrail mix of any significance in the entire uh, USA 5 map here. Now, right here, we do see uh, something fishy right here. And this is way offshore. This is a, this is a far, we're probably, uh, you know, two, two, three hundred miles offshore here. And as we go further north on the next map up, we can probably find the aerosols as well. but. The main thing is, is that we had a forecast for rain in Southern California, and that's what we got. And you'll notice once again that there are no aerosols in the sky here in this satellite map. So that's all. We just want to do document that, and uh, the timing of everything is, is very critical. We see that there are no aerosols, uh, and uh, we'll wait for the rain.
uh, which is supposed to show up tonight sometime. Okay, now next we have the geostationary satellite image. This is the water vapor map. And uh, we can see again here in black and white, we've got some weather moving in right here. But the other thing, more importantly, is the uh, chemtrails that are visible right in here, right here. And also down here off of Baja, where we were just looking in the uh, MODIS map, right down here, there's spring. You can see all that. Right, right through there. All right, right in here. And uh, right out here, we can see the spring going on right out here. And over here, right there. So I find all of this uh, interesting. We'll, we'll uh, definitely keep an eye on this. Uh, the last time it rained, I, I didn't take a look at these larger maps. But today I decided to and found out that uh, they are spraying. It's just not, they're not spraying in the area that they are going to allow it to rain, which is uh, some interesting evidence. If we, if we go back to the MODIS Today map and we back out of this view, back out of here entirely, and we select the map uh, over here on the uh, upper left, which is the north uh, west map that shows uh, most of uh, Northern California, Oregon, and Washington. Right here, if we just go to the 1,000, or the, rather the middle zoom level, and let's just quickly take a look here before we sign off. Uh, we can see immediately that there are some things happening right over here. This is all sort of an off-white, brown, chemtrail-looking uh, mix all through here, right next to Idaho, right all, all through here. And, if, and then, of course, uh, uh, Washington State is all right here, uh, Vancouver Island. This looks pretty good, actually. This looks very natural. But over here on the right, look at look at the you know the uh, the gray uh, off white color. That's the chemtrail mix. This is what I'm talking about. We have a couple of shills on the website that are telling us that chemtrails don't exist and and all this kind of crap. That's just a lot of nonsense. I've I've been doing this for I've been watching chemtrails for probably about 18 years, 19 years, you know. I didn't fully understand why they were doing it, but I, I noticed them. Okay, but now we know why they're doing it, and that's now upsetting some people. Anyhow, we have more chemtrail mix up off the Northern California coast. We can see all that right here. The Bay Area, right there, San Francisco, uh, Sacramento area right here. So that's it. That that this is a uh, this is pretty pretty good evidence of uh, what's going on. So we'll uh, go ahead and uh, we'll do another update tomorrow after it rains. If it rains, we'll see what happens. Okay, that's it.